Hello, our dear students. I am Mr. Lutfi bin Zayda. And I am Mrs. Maysoon Harrar. Welcome to the set of TV sessions, uh, which cover uh, Unit 4, Book 4. These sessions were uh, prepared and designed under the guidance and supervision of our ELT General Inspector, Mrs. Ilham bin Slema Mansour, to whom we are really grateful for her huge help. We hope that you find these sessions interesting and helpful. We also hope that you are respecting the lockdown measures in these exceptional circumstances. Your safety and your health is all that matters. And if you're here today, it's mainly because we're thinking about you. Otherwise, you would be in quarantine at home. So please uh, stop any direct contact, avoid any direct contact, and respect the physical and social distancing rules. This is very crucial in order to stop the spread of the virus, at least one meter away from the nearest person to you, the way we are doing here. And remember to wash your hands regularly with soap and water or hand sanitizer. Um, we are going to start by giving you an idea about uh, the different sessions or the content, the general content of the sessions that we'll be covering together. So let's start. Um, we start with session one, which deals with live concerns. And here we'll be talking essentially about two issues, which are healthy diet and smoking. We'll be focusing on these two issues. Lesson two or session two deals with uh, ethics and attitudes. As for session three, it is devoted to environmental issues and will be focusing especially and shedding light mainly on eco driving. Session four is entitled Urban Exodus. It mainly approaches city versus country life. Um, now, session five is mainly about employment issues and staff management. We'll be talking about applying for jobs and also we'll try to focus on the relationship that exists uh, within any uh, work environment, the relationship between managers and their staff. And uh, it's the last session, session six, uh, is an extract from a novel and it is devoted for art students. So let's begin. Let's okay. start. Yes. So, as you see, the, the uh, title of the unit is Life Issues, Lesson yes. 1, Life Concerns. And when you say issue, what comes to your mind, Lotfi? What is an issue? Can you suggest other words that have the same meaning? Well, when I see the word issue, miss, a lot of words come to my mind. I might think about um, an issue could be a problem, main, maybe, miss, or um, maybe a concern. Um, an issue could be a topic that causes some kind of conflicts or controversies. That's what comes to my mind. Yes, excellent. You're right. An issue is a topic, a concern, a matter, a problem. Okay. So it's clear now. It's an yes. issue. So let's complete. An issue is, if we sum up. Um, let me try, Miss. Can I? Yes, of course. Please do. Uh, so an issue is an, an important topic for discussion, Miss? Well done. An issue is an important topic for discussion. And as you see, our unit deals with life issues. Yes. Yes. What life issues or what are the important uh, life problems that people generation after generation always discuss, need to talk about? What comes to your mind? Life issues. When I see the word life issues, actually, um, the main issue that comes to my mind, especially in these special circumstances, is that of health. health. I think all of us are worried about, about our health. Yes, absolutely, you're right. Yes. So health issues. Health issues, yes. yes. I think they, they, they should come first. Um, maybe I can think about um, employment. I noticed that my father has been at home for a long time and I noticed that he is worried about not working, about his job. So employment, it's important to unemployment, get a job. yes, is a big issue. Yes. Um, um, I don't know, perhaps I might think about um, the environment, miss. Environmental issues, the need okay. to protect our environment, the dangers that threaten our environment, that threaten our existence. And our life, of course. And our life, yes, yes. miss. Are there life issues that come to your mind? Uh, so um, maybe social problems, miss. Such as? Um, poverty. Poverty, for poverty. example. Yes, excellent. Yes. Well done. So, uh, yes, among the life issues that we'll be dealing uh, with is social, uh, social uh, issues, society. 
problems okay. like poverty, violence, divorce, etc. True, yes. Jobs. Where's health, miss? There is no health? Uh, we'll see. Um, I Let expected us, help to come first. Uh, we'll see. Uh, jobs. Oh, join, I mentioned join that. Right? Yes, you mentioned it, of course. Uh, people study, go to schools, university, have degrees and need to get a job so that they can have a decent right, and comfortable yes, life. And by the way, joblessness or unemployment is a social issue. It is, yes. Uh, yes. Health. Oh, health. Of course. There it is. Yes. Uh, health matters or health, health problems are among the problems. Health is wealth, we say, miss. Yes, That's health what you taught us. It's uh, all that matters, yes. especially, as you said, in, uh, in these exceptional circumstances. Yes. And environment. Yeah. It is very important to care for our, uh, to care about uh, our environment. Yes. It's where we live. It's our surrounding that is affecting our life. And another oh, issue I did not that, that yes, you didn't. Uh, but uh, well done. Anyway, you mentioned most of them. Attitudes and values. Attitudes and values. Yes, it's our behavior is how we behave towards uh, one another. I see, I Yes. So these are uh, the life issues that will be covered in uh, in our unit. These are the main life issues. The main issues life we'll issues will be focusing on. Okay, miss. And as you said, today we'll focus mainly on. Health matters. Health matters. Health okay. matters. It's uh, uh, it's very important to have uh, good health to be healthy, and when we talk about health, we cannot uh, forget about food. Food, yes. Yes. So we all consume food. Uh, sometimes we eat healthy or unhealthy food, and I have two questions for you. Okay. Do you have a healthy <coughs> lifestyle, and do you maintain a healthy and balanced diet? Um, well, to be First, honest... Yes. Uh, do you know the meaning of the word diet? Diet? Diet. Nothing to do with the verb to die? No, of okay, course I it's not. Sure. So when you say ah. lifestyle, it's the way in which you live. Ah, okay. And the balanced diet means we are talking about something that I have already mentioned. It's the related diet? Related to health. I know the expression to go on a diet. Uh, no, yeah, to go on a diet is uh, when you start uh, eating uh, an amount of food just to, to gain okay. or to lose weight. Wait. But a diet is something that I have already mentioned. It. It's very important for our health, which is uh, food. food. Food, of course. Food, so yes. Your diet is, you see how it is pronounced? Oh, diet. 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 Thank yes. you, miss. It's the amount of food consumed by a person. So okay. the food you consume every day is your di diet. diet that diet. may be healthy or may be unhealthy. unhealthy. Now, uh, is it a healthy uh, diet? Do you have a healthy lifestyle or do you maintain a balanced um, diet? Miss, to be honest with you, uh, I try hard to maintain a balanced and healthy, healthy diet, but I'm, I don't always succeed. Sometimes I bend to the temptations of eating fast food, junk food, sandwiches, um, fatty food, that kind of things from time to time. But all in all, I'm trying to stick to a healthy diet. That's good if you try to stick to a healthy diet. So remember that your stomach is not a waste basket. So That's you right. Not Ms. Throw Thank you for reminding anything. me. You should not swallow anything. But I shouldn't leave it empty because an empty stomach has no ears. <laughs> you, you mentioned it already, uh, you said something important, you said that people go on a diet. So when people go on a diet, they, they need the advice of someone who is entitled to give them advice about food. Um, so their husbands, their wives? Of course not. So if you have health problems, mainly related to food, you have yes. food problems, who is the person who is entitled scientifically to give you advice about food? Um, miss, who should it, you go to? Is it deri derived from diet? Yes. Um, I'm going to guess. Try. Um, dietitian? Excellent. I A dietitian. Dietitian. Yes. Dietitian. Okay. You, you, you see the pronunciation? Dietitian. Uh, yes. You see that we have a British spelling. Yes. And an American one. Uh, C and T. Yes. Okay. But uh, the pronunciation is the same. So a dietitian. A it dietitian. is the person who scientifically studies and gives advice about food and eating. Okay. Generally and always. I haven't consulted any dietitians yet, but I think it's a good idea. Yes. Dietitians always advise people to get their five a day. Five. Five a day. Mm. Uh, let me help you. Five a day diet. So can you guess? Dietitians advise us to get to our get five, a day. five a day. Five. What it can't be it five for? meals. No, five meals. I know that we take three. Three, three, three yes, meals. Three meals. Ramadan too. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so if it's not meals, then maybe five 
maybe five types of vitamins or proteins? You're close. You're okay. close. Uh, five a day. Uh, dietitian advise people to get their five a day. Five a day diet is. Can you read, please? Ah, uh, okay. Five a day diet is eating at least five fruits and vegetables every day. I understand. Okay, these are more, more than five. So you should include uh, five fruit and vegetables mm, they in look your tempting, diet by the way. every day. Yes. They look tempting. They Especially. are mouth watering. <laughs> Uh, this is what is a five-a-day diet, so making sure you have five fruits and vegetables okay. in your diet every day. And of Depending course, on the season. Yes. To understand more, here is a paragraph yes. that explains uh, what is five-a-day diet. Okay. You just have to, fin uh, to complete it with okay. words from the box, and then you will have a clear, on, uh, a clear idea on what five-a-day is. Okay, can I start, Miss? Yes, of course, please do. So I am a dietitian and I would like to talk about how important it is to get your five a day. Actually, it is eating any fruit and vegetables during the day, whether they are, whether they are tinned, dried and juiced ones. Let's I guess it's tinned, I'm not sure. Let's check. Tinned, okay. A tin well that, is, that is put, Excellent. put in a tin. Preserved in an airtight tin or can. Uh, canned. 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 Yes. I remember a joke he told us about eat what you can and can what you can't eat. What you can't eat. Playing so that you can the, preserve it for a long meanings. time. Okay. Yes. Do not throw away anything. Uh, yes. So in different way, ways, a tin, so dried, tinned, dried, or, or juiced one. Or yes, can you carry For instance, uh, Miss, what does for instance mean? For example. Ah, for example, okay. It is very um, beneficial to take fruit and cereals in the morning. Got it. Excellent. Right. So Thank far you, so good. It's always yes. thanks to you. <laughs> Among the other components of your five a day, we can highlight dates, a couple of grapes, or a good, um, could it be slice of fruit dessert? Tremendous. Okay. You could surprise me with your <laughs> oh, uh, excellent you. performance. Um, yes. You should know as well that eating natural fruit is best to get most nutrients. Uh, besides, fruits should not be peeled. Peel, that is, we remove the... To remove the skin. The skin, okay. Because fruit vitamins are under the skin, okay. Otherwise, um, I'm looking for an ING word. Otherwise. Steaming. Steaming is the best way of cooking vegetables. It's when cooking on boiling water. Oh, I think it's very healthy it's because th it yes, maintains... It's the best. It's the best way of cooking. It the, the nutritional value of, of, of the fruit. Of the fruit or the, veget yes. the vegetables, sorry. Let me check whether it is the right yes, word or not. It, it is. is. Okay, not bad at all. At least five fruit and vegetables every day. I think I need a verb. You. Enable you to maintain a healthy... Could it be... Thank you for your help, Miss. Balance yeah. of your body. Excellent. Enable it you. They enables make you able. You. Yeah, to course, enable someone to, to give him the ability to okay. maintain a healthy balance of Thank your you, body. It also it also you? provides you with a greater source of vitamins and um, could it be minerals? Yes. And improves the chances of maintaining a healthier lifestyle. Anyway, it's the only word left. So if you want a merry life. Never miss your wife. Uh, sorry, Not your, your five. wife. Your of five. course, your your five. Your, your five. <laughs> and uh, by the way, uh, vitamins and minerals. These are words that collocate together. Okay. They are collocations, and we can say vitamins or vitamins. Both so pronunciations also we have are correct. Both pronunciation, British pronunciation, and American pr pronunciation. Okay, thank you, Miss. Yes. So. Um, it is important to have a healthy lifestyle and to eat healthy food. So as you see, we are going to talk about tips on how to keep or how to have a healthy lifestyle. It includes, of course, eating healthy food. Yeah, I mentioned We've been already that. talking about this. Yes. And eating healthy food, it means automatically avoiding. Avoiding maybe fast food, miss? Avoiding unhealthy food, uh, such as uh, like sugary, salty and ah, fatty okay. food. I, I could guess that these are adjectives from the ending of each of them. There is why. I yes, think it's sugary, from sugar. Sugar, sugary. Salt, salty. Salt, salty. Fat, fatty. Fat, fatty. But and fat these... with one T, I think. No, it's... Fat, fat alone with one T. Ah, fat alone, it's okay, one T. Then but we double the T, Yes, of course, you should double Thank the T. Thank you. But uh, keeping a healthy lifestyle, it's not only about food. 
Yes. So we may have other habits or good habits yes. that can help us keep healthy or stay healthy. That's right. Can you uh, remind us of some of them? Um, maybe exercising yes. while taking care of the risk of falling, which happened to me. <laughs> I, I broke my, my foot, unfortunately. So taking exercise is important. Um, there is also um, drinking a lot of water. Tremendous. That's one of my parents' uh, pieces of advice. Yes, they keep advising me to drink at least one liter and a and half, half a day. I try as average. much as possible to do it. Um, having enough sleep, maybe. Of course. Uh, how many hours, miss? Seven, eight? Eight. Uh, the average it depends on In the Ramadan, age. In Ramadan, we don't sleep much, unfortunately. Unfortunately, But we need yes. to. Um, Maybe avoiding stressful situations or knowing how to cope with stress? To cope with, to manage, uh, to manage your stress. stress. Yes. So let's check if you guessed right. Okay. Yes, drinking plenty of water. Water is life. So it That's is very right. important to drink enough water to hydrate your body. Uh, also getting enough sleep. Okay. Excellent. You allow yourself to rest, to have a rest. It's good to renew your energy. And practicing okay. sport. Practic sport or regularly. exercising regularly it means to twice or three times a week yes. at a regular basis, not only for a month and then we stop. So it should be That's a right, habit, miss. okay? Yes. And uh, avoiding unhealthy and dangerous addictions. Oh, drugs. Uh. Such as addictions to addiction to drugs, to alcohol, alcohol and, and smoking. To smoke. Thank God I'm not addicted to any of them. Thank God. And uh, you may notice here that the word smoking is yeah, highlighted. Yeah, it's colored it's differently. Different. Yes because it's the second health matter that we will be dealing with in our lesson I see, today. okay. So, I, I want to ask you, do you smoke? You already said that, yeah, that you are not addicted I'm to anything. I'm any a smoker and I'm that's very proud good. of it. That's very good. But you know people who smoke? Of course I do. Most of my friends smoke. Yes, and most of them are? Uh, most of them are addicted to addicted smoking. Addicted to it, so it's not easy for them to, uh, to stop. What I, can I keep advising them to, to give up smoking, but they, they turn a deaf ear to what I say, and some of them agree with me that it is harmful, but they say we can't really, we can't really avoid it, we can't really help it. Maybe they are aware, they know, they try, but it's a bit difficult. Can I ask them again? Yes, ask, ask them? them, please. Please, please, my dear friends, uh, this is your opportunity. We are in a fasting holy month now, it's Ramadan, and we are all fasting. So those who have reduced the number of cigarettes they smoke each evening or each night, this is your chance to take up the challenge and win it. Put an end to this harmful addiction. Miss is saying that it is dangerous, and I do agree with her. Everybody agrees that it's dangerous. I beg you to listen to me and put an end to this addiction. So please listen to him, listen to him carefully and try to follow his advice. It's very important. So uh, what can we say? What can we tell them? Stop smoking. Stop smoking or you should not smoke? Um, we, can, we can make it more polite because I, I saw it written in, uh, on, on some, in, in some public places. Thanks for not smoking. Yes. It's a polite a way of saying way. don't oh, smoke. Yes, a yes. different way of yes. saying stop smoking, stop smoking or stop yes. the habit. Yes. As you said, uh, many people are addicted to smoking. That's why it is not easy for them to stop or yes. to give up. Uh, they are addicted to smoking. And when you are addicted to something, you are physically and mentally dependent on dependent it. On That's it. why it's difficult to, to stop. You are physically and mentally dependent on it because smoking is addictive. Addictive, or the okay. the components in the cigarettes are addictive. So it's not easy for them to give up because it is addictive. Okay. okay. And addictive means, it's the adjective, another adjective. It means causing or likely to cause someone to become or to be addi addicted. addicted to. So you may see the difference. So I am or someone is addicted to, to smoke. something. He is dependent on it because... Uh, what he is consuming or the habit he is following is addictive. So, it so can we say he is hooked on it? Hooked on, dependent on or upon. Hooked on? Hooked on something. Okay. So, uh, and it's, uh, ad uh, smoking is an, a habit, okay? It's a nasty habit. It is, and it yes. is an addiction, okay? Addiction is, an addiction is a habit after all. This uh, habit that people are unable to stop once That's they right. start doing it or uh, having Could it. Could we say quit instead of stop, miss? 
Yes, okay. abandoned. We'll see this word, by okay. the way, okay? We'll see uh, right. this word. So, uh, smoking has a negative impact, uh, negative impact on health. That's right. So, it has many negative effects. So, let's remind smokers of these effects, then uh, uh, give them some advice on how to quit, and why not tell them of the benefits of quitting. We start by reminding them of the negative effects of smoking on their health. Okay. So, can you look at them again? And as you uh, gave them advice to stop smoking, could you remind them of the negative effects of uh, smo smoking? smoking? Okay. So, please, my friends, um, I would like to remind you of some of the negative effects of smoking. Um, the most obvious ones that everybody speaks about have to do, of course, with health, miss. So, when you smoke, you are damaging your health, you are reducing or shortening your life. Um, this leads to many health problems uh, which can be as serious as cancer. Several kinds of cancer could be lung cancer, could be skin cancer, even mouth cancer. Um, a lot of respiration diseases like asthma, for example. Uh, it causes lots of irritations, like frequent coughing, for example. Bad breath and bad smell, uh, even tooth decay. Um, I am pretty aware of the fact that smoking leads to tooth decay. I also know that chocolate leads to tooth to decay. So sugary food. Exactly, sugary food in general, miss. And I think, Miss, that I should remind my friends, because I know that many of them are living or surviving on a tight budget. I advise them to stop smoking because this will help them earn a lot of money or save a, save lot, of a money. lot of money. Save a lot of money, yes. Yes. So far, so good. Excellent, as usual. Yes. So the first negative effect is lung cancer. Okay. Mouth cancer. Many other types of cancer, by the way, these are the most important ones. Smoking also leads to heart diseases, heart disease. tooth decay, as you said, chronic coughs. What do you mean by chronic, miss? It means uh, it's, not, it's for a long period of time. Okay. So it's not just temporary. It's permanent. It's permanent. Okay, miss. Then respiratory diseases, asthma, which is also breathing difficulties. Respiratory diseases, that is illnesses related to respiration. Yes, okay. to breathing. Okay. Bad breath and bad smell, okay. uh, as you said. Breathing problems, you know, people who smoke uh, are quickly or most often they are very quickly short of breath. When That's they right. walk or they That's run, right, they have Ms. rapid They run out of breath. Yes, they cannot be active because of smoking. And another uh, effect is uh, stroke. Oh, stroke. It can lead to stroke. The stroke is a serious, sudden illness caused by the, when the blood is blocked. Okay. And uh, uh, it leads to death or to paralysis. I see. So... So many, so and there many. are others. These are the most important sure, sure, ones. That's why you'd better give up. So uh, if you are a smoker, you'd better give up to have a better, better health. health. And here okay. we come to the word. We have already, uh, you said quit earlier. I said quit, yes. To give up, it may be to quit, or also it may... To abandon. Yes, okay, miss. or to stop. So, to stop. Uh, uh. But how to stop? We said uh, that we are going to remind them of the negative uh, effects of smoking, yes, yes. but also we'll give them some advice on how to quit. Could you tell your friends uh, how they can quit? Um, my dear friends, um, I think that stopping is hard. Being aware of the dangers of smoking is something most of the times Obvious, most people are aware of the dangers of smoking, but giving up is hard, although it needn't be seen as hard as some people think. Uh, actually, uh, I, I believe that the first and major key to stopping is determination, miss. Um, you have to be determined. Uh, you have to take a decision and take up the challenge and when it's... And also this leads to another condition, which is self-confidence. Be confident that you can stop and you will stop. So determination, self-confidence, um, maybe um, taking up some activities uh, that are harmless compared to smoking uh, can, can help the, the ex-smoker uh, quit. Um, also, uh, filling one's time with constructive activities because idleness is uh, the mother of all evil. So when you are busy doing something, you don't have time to think about lighting up a cigarette. 
Um, it's essentially confidence in one's ability to stop and determination. You're amazing. Oh, thank you left you, nothing for me to say. Thank so you. how to quit? Yes. So first you should have a strong desire to quit. And it's related to the one that comes next. Have the confidence or being self-confident that you can do it. So the most important thing is to be confident and to say, I can do it. Exactly, okay? Miss. When there is a will, there is a way. If you keep telling yourself, I can't, it's difficult, I can't, it's difficult, you will never do it. So That's right. be self-confident and you will and manage. And just start, take the yes, initiative, start, make the first and, step. Yes, tell yourself that you can do it and you will be able to okay. uh, do it. Don't worry, if you're sleepier than usual, this feeling will pass. Okay. All the unusual feelings are temporary. They will pass. They are just the cause of... I, I read an article, Miss, about this. It says that these are symptoms of the recovery process. Yes, so your body is healing. Yes, uh, there are some annoying symptoms. You shouldn't worry about them. You should, they should not encourage you to get back to the habit of smoking. On the contrary, you have to keep on... Uh, on your decision and certainly those symptoms will disappear. Yes, another tip is that a smoker should consider the positive effects of quitting. So if you remind yourself that this is beneficial, there are positive effects on your body, then it will motivate you. It I will, see, okay. Yes, it will motivate you, sorry. It will uh, push, uh, give you a push forward so that you uh, stop. Uh, I also say here and before moving to next one, when we consider the positive effects, we should also remember the negative effects. So also when you of remember, smoking. yes, when you remember uh, the diseases that uh, may, uh, you may have, the dangerous effects you may have on your health, then also it can motivate you to stop. That's right. Next, uh, sorry, uh, when you feel tense, try to keep busy. Uh, think about ways to solve the problem. Okay. Now, people who smoke, most of they cannot stop because they have many problems. But they had another is, problem. Uh, yes, smoking never uh, solve, uh, never solves your problem. It's never the answer. So if you have a problem, you'd better act to solve it. Try to find a solution quickly because smoking is adding other problems. Uh, it's, it's even making your problems worse. That's right, miss. Yes. And uh, the last tip here is start a money jar. Oh, money jar. I used to uh, have one when I was a child. Yes. I used to check it daily have. how much money I had in it. And yes. I was impatient to break it and see how much money I had. Yes. Uh, uh, with the money spared. you save by not buying uh, cigarettes. Oh, and I see. you will uh, discover after a month or uh, a short period a huge of time, amount the of money. huge amount of money you've been spending on That's a good piece of diseases. advice. So yes. it's, it's a good way to save money. Yes, it's a good way to save, uh, to save money. So as a smoker, uh, you need to stop. And among the tips that we have already mentioned is considering the positive effects of quitting. Positive effects of quitting means that there are benefits. Exactly. And we, we repeated this word. Along benefits. With the lessons. Yes, of it course. It was beneficial. So remember, with uh, we saw even the verb, miss. Uh, yes, and we saw beneficial in the paragraph about five days. That's a day, right. Died. A few minutes ago. Few, yes. So we'll check the different forms of this uh, uh, word. So okay. benefits of the verb is to to benefit. Benefit. The noun is also a benefit. A benefit. If you are. Uh, a person, the noun person is beneficiary. Beneficiary. So smokers are beneficiaries. Okay. And the adjective already used is beneficial. So quitting is beneficial. Quitting is beneficial. Okay, miss. Remember that uh, we use of after the noun, so benefits the of... The benefits of quitting. Of quitting. When using the verb, you would say to benefit from. So when I stop, I benefit from quitting. Yeah, so smokers uh, benefit from quitting. Okay, miss. The opposite is something benefits someone. Uh, so quitting benefits the smoker. Yes. I see. So quitting benefits smoker, no preposition. Okay. However, smokers benefit from quitting. That's right, okay. The benefits, the first one. Uh, shall I read? Yes, please. Your senses of smell and taste will be better. Of course. Yes. But before moving to other benefits, can you mention some of the benefits that you know? Benefits of quitting smoking. Oh, I think you avoid running the risks of many health problems. Like yes. as uh, you mentioned a few minutes ago, um, the word uh, stroke. You, avoid, you don't run the risk of stroke. Uh, respiration diseases, all kinds of cancer. Uh, you get rid of uh, the chronic cough you told me about a few minutes ago. 
and you save money? Yes, uh, let's check. And I'm sure your answers are correct. Yes, your coughs go away. So you, you, will, you will start uh, recovering okay. after, uh, after a short period of time, then more recovery after a long period of time. And your breath smells, smells better. better, of course. That's you right. said already the senses of smell and taste become better. You save money. Okay. Of course, and sure. you said already that uh, you can have a money jar in which you put the money uh, you, you use or you spend on cigarettes and you will save a lot of money. Okay. And the last one, uh, quitting, as you said, will cut the risks of lung cancers, heart diseases, all these dangerous diseases that you may have because of uh, smoking. Okay, great, great. Great. Already we uh, reached the end of the lesson. Okay. But you have Time a Time goes by so fast with you, yes. Miss. <laughs> thank you. Uh, we have a homework. Oh, okay. Thank you for the good news. You have a writing. So I need to write homework something. Homework assignment. Right okay. Now. Yes. Could you read, please, uh, the topic? Okay, Could Miss. Could you please read the topic? Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Having noticed that more and more of your schoolmates are growing addicted to smoking, you decided to write a 12-line article for your school magazine in which you give them advice to stop smoking. Remind them of the health problems caused by this nasty habit. Do we say nasty, miss? Yes. Nasty habit. And how beneficial it is to quit. Interesting. Interesting. We did that orally a few minutes ago. So all uh, I have to do we is... We have already covered everything. Yeah, so we you just miss. have to reinvest your ideas in your so writing. But first, what are you supposed to write? What an article. You told me it's an yes, article. Yes, it's an article. So it has a different layout. It's not a letter. It's not an email. Yes. So there is a layout. And what are the different components? Components of uh, your writing? Um, as far as Here, I know, uh, well, you, you, we are supposed to, to remind them of uh, the negative effects of smoking and yes. advise them to, to stop. Yes. So let's and to, tell them also about the benefits of The quitting. benefits. So there are three yes. main parts three main that parts. you should cover in your... So advise. Give advice. Now ad advise them to quit. Uh, tell them about, about the, negative the negative impact of smoking and, and the benefits of quitting. And remind them of the benefits okay, of you, smoking. So we will remember together the layout of an article. Oh, it's an article, so I, I it's remember, an article. I remember so one condition. Yes, which is? It, it requires a title. Excellent. Oh, title it's not heading, an article okay. without a title. Okay. But what type of title you should write? Is any title? It should be eye-catching. Yes. Uh, and it should be concise or brief. Could it be as simple as um, smoking kills, for example? Yes, it can be such a Yeah, it should be shaking and shocking. Shocking? Uh, not always shocking, but it should be appealing. In, in, to this, be a in this uh, yes, case, yes. Maybe, I, I, sh yes. I should warn my friends. Yeah. Anyway, it should be short and attractive. Can I say the ghost of smoking? Or, for example, okay. it's good. I'll think about a better title. Yes, I uh, think of, uh, okay. of uh, some examples and I will see them when I read your okay. article. So the most important component or part of an, ar of, uh, of an article is the title. Yes. So as I said, it's not an article without a headline or without a, a, without a heading or a title. And it should be short yes. and it should be appealing. It should be... As we say, attractive. it should be attractive, it should be concise, and it should stick to something you told us about. Yes. It should stick to the KISS principle. The KISS principle. <laughs> Keep it short and sweet. Sweet. Okay. And you know, when, when people open a magazine or a newspaper, yes. they generally read titles. That's right. So if the title of Appeals the article... Appeals to them. Yes, they read the article, otherwise they skip it and move, they move to on, another yes. one. So it's really important. The title right. is very important. Uh, we said that in your body you should cover three points, but first you should introduce the issue. That's right. Uh, here uh, that you are already uh, you see or you notice that many of your schoolmates are uh, becoming addicted to smoking, smoking, so you should talk about this. Then you should list. Could you please read? Uh, we, I should list the, uh, the dangerous effects or the dangers or the damages of smoking. That is the first part or one of the parts? Yes. Then give? Uh, then um, give advice, of course. So uh, mainly it's advice. I, I mentioned the effects, the negative effects, and I give advice to my friends to give up. And I mentioned the, the benefits of smoking. I yes. tell them why they should quit. How to quit, And tips, how to quit. And why quit, the benefits. So we yes. have already the three parts. parts when so. we give advice, what do we use? Um, In general, use, there is a structure. We use expressions of advice like um, should or shouldn't plus verb. Yes. Um, ought or to excellent. or ought not to plus verb. Uh, I'm not sure whether we use had better or would better, miss. 
Uh, we'll check. Okay. We'll check and okay. we'll explain this. So, uh, yes, uh, remember that to give advice, we use you should plus verb or to. Mm, I mentioned that. Had better. Had better. Yes. Oh, okay. Because would, would better. better is for preference. Oh, would rather. Would rather, you would better. Would we rather use it when you are expressing okay. preferences, not advice. So I see, miss. You'd better or you had better. And I advise I you. I advise you with to. S or C. Both are correct. Yes. No, it's not. Of oh, course. Okay. There is a difference, I miss? advise you. It's the verb. Look oh, here. Okay. If you are using it as a verb, uh, the spell you write it with an S. And it's pronounced advise. Z, uh, advise okay. someone. But if you are using it as a noun, it's written with C. Okay, thank and you, miss. You say an advice. A piece of a advice. A piece of advice. Okay, miss. Good. Can we, can we say advices, miss? No, of course okay. not. Like information, we never say. Like information. So okay, it's miss. a piece of advice. Or tips. Tips. Okay. Uh, and uh, a piece of advice okay. or uh, advice, some advice, but never advi so advices. So, thank you, miss. And you should have a conclusion. Um, yes, I need, I need in the conclusion to remind my friends of the, the main issue that is the need to stop. Smoking. The need to stop. Let's uh, guess. An Any conclusion, we have an opinion or a recommendation about uh, the topic. Okay. I just want to remind our pupils about the criteria of evaluation of the writing. So your uh, writing is going to be evalu evaluated uh, depending on three main uh, parts. The first one is adherence to content, uh, which is uh, here, in which includes the layout an article here and covering all the different parts that you should cover in your article. It means if you are, if for example, you just write about the benefits and how to quit without mentioning the dangerous effects of smoking. I will be penalized for of that. Of course, it will affect okay. uh, your mark. The okay. second criterion is language. Uh, or uh, language accuracy, we mean here correct grammar. So it's good to have great ideas, nice ideas, but also we should write correct English. The right tense. Language. The correct uh, language, English okay. language. So the right tense, the right form of the verb, function words, okay. etc. And the last one or the last criterion is, uh, criterion is what you call mechanics to write, uh, mechanics of writing. Is, is spelling and included here? Spelling, yes. for example, if I misspell the word advise? Of course. Okay. In this part, we will uh, focus uh, on spelling and punctuation and capitalization. Capitalization as well. So, of course, uh, an example here is advice and advise. Okay. So, if, you, if you're using it as a verb, there is a spelling. As a noun, a different spelling. Okay. If you end a statement, you should have a full stop. We start with a capital letter. And you letter. told us about indentation at the beginning of, of each course, new part. If you're using linkers like first, etc., you should have a comma I after see. them. Okay. The comma uh, 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 in appositions uh, for additional information. Okay. So all these are uh, the criteria of evaluation. That So if you cover all of them, if you have all of them, you will have the full one. Full mark. So full I hope mark. I will. So that's all uh, for this lesson. I hope that it was beneficial and it will be useful. And we see you again in another uh, lesson. So thank you very thank much. You for thank for you for watching. Thank you for watching us.